this is a rocket stove, and rocket stoves generally create much more efficient combustion and are better able to store heat than conventional stoves. And so I decided that I wanted to build this stove rather than use the previous one that I had because I wanted to be putting less uh, pollution into the atmosphere, but also this stove has, you actually feed the wood in through the top, which means that you can put long pieces of wood directly into the stove and they don't actually have to be cut to be able to burn. So I can put the wood in here and the burning actually happens down in the bottom of this area and then the flue gases will travel through the stove. There's a riser up inside the barrel itself that creates a draft so that you can actually have the wood feeding in through the top. And then the flue gases will travel up, hit the top of the barrel on the inside, and then they tr there's an opening on the, on the outside, on the inside of the barrel, but on the outside of that part that comes up in the middle. And all the flue gases will travel down around the outside of the barrel and out through the back and up out of the, the chimney. And all of this cob here that surrounds the stove is designed to capture the heat from the combustion so that it's not just all going straight out the chimney. With a conventional stove, the heat tends to travel out of the building very quickly. This allows for more of the heat to be stored in the building and then slowly uh, the heat is released over time out of the cob. So this is the Sky House rocket stove and it's sort of at the wall in between our dining room and our living room and we basically got the you know intake here and the, the, the barrel is here and then you can see there's a very large amount of cob uh, surrounding most of the barrel here and then this entire wall is actually a cob wall um, and basically we've got a lot of thermal mass to store heat in we've got a little bit of area where the barrel is exposed and so that's going to throw heat into the room quickly when you first light the stove but for the most part, we're looking at this stove to store heat for a long time. And when we burn a fire in here in you know, the morning, we can run it for a few hours, and all of this cob will still be warm into the evening. So here we are on the other side of the wall in the dining room. Here's you know, the other side of that barrel encased in cob. And then the flue of the rocket stove actually runs all the way through this bench and up that chimney. And that's one of the benefits of a rocket stove is that you can actually have a long horizontal run of your flue pipe and you can run it through a bench or under a bed or wherever you want to store that heat. And now normally we have a table here and so this is actually one of the seats at the table and it's a very popular one in the winter because this area is going to stay warm um, you know, pretty much all day into the evening if we fire the rocket stove you know, that day. Uh, there's about four to six inches of cob on top of the flue here on the, on the bench and so it can take a few hours before it heats up I'd say you know two or three hours uh, but then it'll stay warm throughout the day the front of the rocket stove actually there's only about two inches here between the flue and the front and that actually heats up a little faster and sometimes is almost a little too hot so the, that four inches is really great if it's going to be an area that you're actually physically in contact with like this bench um, we've oiled the bench to waterproof it since it's near the table. The chimney runs up uh, is cobbed all the way up into the second story and that again stores thermal mass up into the bedrooms upstairs as well.